that my bonus come back in less than 48 hours and knowing what money makers there are will greatly assist you in it and this video will be giving you various money making methods throughout the comma bracket so you're able to do starting off with the lowest comma bracket 3 to 50 and 51 to 70 first money makers are such skills such as hunter, fishing and agility hunter is a relatively easy skill to level since doing the naturalistic quest will take you to 27 hunter this enables you to start eagle's peace quest which allows you to get to 39 hunter and catch some chim chumpers later on if you grind to 53 and chins will be in demand this deadman one because chin your range will be one of the best ways to train the range skill and since monkey minus 2 caves can be unlocked when reaching the third bracket a lot more people won't be wanting those hamsters fishing has been one of the best ways to get money and swap into the main game for many deadman modes and doing it this time will get you some dp i recommend you doing some quests beforehand such as fishing contest or sea slug to get you to a decent fishing level and begin catching fish for money. Fish to catch for GP would be sharks, grambons and lobsters etc. Agility is another skill you can do for easy money but I personally recommend you to watch this video for the agility grind. I'm not completely sure about that uh, sigil that's going to be released. It's a sigil that apparently gives you 100k every time you get a mask race which sounds very nice for agility when it comes to money making free combat in the lower comma bracket twin dragons for the dragon bones will be good gp at the start as people will be wanting to uh, use dragon bones on the kill soldier during their protection period you can kill blue red and lava dragons with mage but i wouldn't recommend to kill green dragons with mage since they are more resistant to it but they're weak to range so make sure to range them if you're killing them green rats. The alternative you can kill are Ogre's Warriors which drop archibalds, runes and arrows and gems and some coins if you're lucky. They can be safe for with range and mage and escaping PK players will be relatively easy to carry out. Once you reach the mid combat bracket will to 71 to 90, you're able to do these money makers for profit are mostly very high compared to the low common bracket, beginning with killing Cyclops at the Warrior Guild. In this level world, the Warrior Guild will be a safe spot, meaning killing Cyclops is free XP and money as they drop archivals, herbs and seeds. You can also buy food and pots at the guild, causing you to be able to stay for a longer time. And here is the first big money maker you can do in this level world, Revenants or Wilderness Bosses. In the main game, Killing Revenants or the building bosses alone is one of the best money in the game. Now imagine in Debo mode that 3 times drop rate for uniques and combine these two factors. Getting a Void Raker will be big money and the Revenants will be printing GP with the regular league. Sadly you can't get any unbound from this uh, Debo mode but standard drop rates will make you a oil prince. Moving on to the next money maker, Killing Zora. At this point you're able to unlock Zora. She selects the elf in questline partial completion at the second comma bracket. You're able to send some kills if you got the required gear or stats to kill Zora and as you all know Zora is a money snake therefore with three times drop rates for unique Zora equals Super Saiyan 2 money snake causing you to taste bread when you grind this specimen of a monster. And the final thing you can kill for money is gorillas. Not those gorillas, these gorillas. The Monic Gorillas drop rate is very good since everything nearly is a archibald and getting a Zenith will boost that mod even more. So I would recommend you doing this if you can kill the Monarchs since you just need a Rune Crossbow and maybe even Ibans. You can kill them for free and get money. Make sure to grind it very quickly. I believe first day if you make it to the second combat bracket I mean third combat bracket where you unlock monkey minus 2 and killing gorillas will be quite profitable since speakers might have not reached that point yet because they gotta choose the desert treasure unlock first and if they want to kill you they either pick the monkey minus 2 option and grind desert treasure or they pick desert treasure and grind monkey minus 2 which would take them quite a long time so I predict that PKs won't TK you till the second day unless the stream is and if you somehow make it to the last combat bracket worlds 
money making here will be making 2% 2 money snake look like it's Krillin. And of course, the high team money makers are the 3 raids, TOA, Seamus of Zarek, and Feast of Blood. Out of all of the three, I think TOA will be the easiest to get money, like get into and get money. The raids will provide you with good loot even if you get the white chest, and if you get a purple, you beyond a old prince, you become an old king. And now let's talk about breaches. I'm not completely sure about this, but my gut feelings tell me the breaches will be the meta throughout the demo mode since you can get the ancient warrior weapons and the corrupted weapons. It might also drop very good loot for regular standard loot. And I feel like it'd be making me bang if you kill uh, breaches. However, it'd be very risky since Everyone will know where the location is and PKs definitely will be trying to PK you. And I'm not sure but if you're able to aggro the boss, apparently you see from PKs, but that will depend if you can survive the answer they will do to you. You might have a extremely high HP bar or you can hit super hard on prayer or off prayer. So make sure to just see some guides I guess if it comes out. But if you want to send it, send it. It's worth. There's some money making methods I didn't go through in this video since I would believe it'd be very risky and not worth. I doubt would be the God Wars per dungeon bosses. I don't think next will be very profitable since who needs Tova? PVMers will need Tova, but with all the sigils around, I don't think having full strength mini would be very different beneficial with the risk involved and. I believe he might be very risk in getting killed, you know, since it's multi and everything, so just don't do them, you know. It might be worth you can get the first skill and get a Panda's God Sword or something like that, but I don't think it's nice. And that's it for the good money mix methods in the upcoming demo mode. If you enjoyed this video or thought it'd be helpful, would you please like and comment your favorite money maker? And if you're looking forward for more demo mode content, you should sub since I will be grinding demo mode completely. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.